San Francisco, a street food festival. I came here strictly for the HCC. I've been Absolutely worth the wait. This totally beats everything I've seen before. VR is definitely leading into this kind of uh, out-of-body experience that is going to become mainstream. Role inhabiting and immersion, you feel like you're inhabiting that role and you feel like you're there. Input method, the controllers felt really comfortable in the hand. Done a really good job of incorporating those controllers into the various demos. The head and hand tracking is definitely right on and I've been waiting for that and the, the speed is right there. Just like we've gotten used to changing our position using TV or, or using the internet, uh, being able to feed more and more senses into this grinder is going to become more important and more widespread. Very complete experience and, and it's extremely well done. It's really wonderful to see the kind of creativity that's been evidenced by your developers. There's a lot of applications, especially for training, uh, like military, uh, even uh, medical science. In particular, I'm looking at making some kind of an anatomy simulator for you know anybody from high school students to medical students. We could definitely use that to make the um, scenarios that we do to train much more realistic. We would see the person, the patient, with actual like injuries on them, and therefore make people train better under stress. So when they're actually in a real such situation, they don't they can react appropriately. I help researchers view very large data sets in new ways, move around and see the data set from every angle is absolutely invaluable to scientists. I think if we had this, it would give you a real world scenario and you'd definitely feel like you're in it and your reaction would be genuine. If citizens were able to be in a scenario that cops go through training wise, it'd be great for a cop, it'd be great for the community. You can do all kinds of art. Can you imagine you could have that and then do a 3D printing out of it? Textile, I mean, fashion. That's kind of like a fun, version of it with the robot repair, but you could imagine that for motorcycle repair, car repair. They're going to be great for teachers, it's going to be a great way to grab students' attention and really make them feel like they had an experience as opposed to just reading about something dry. I think from a software development standpoint and possibly even a back-end engineering standpoint, this is going to give uh, engineers new jobs for years to come, create new dynamics in the way people code and the way they visualize the world around them. Really push the boundaries of what technology can do.